A recent survey by a French German TV channel reveals that a significant majority of Europeans believe their countries are accepting an excessive number of foreign migrants. When they say migrants, I do believe they mean asylum seekers, illegals, whatever terminology people use or you want to use. Uh, so there's top countries, there's obviously more countries, but I will go briefly through the top countries, the top 10 countries, what uh, believe that their country is accepting too many migrants. Might be a bit of a surprise this to see the top country in the survey, uh, which was Greece, which had 90% of the people surveyed said that their country is accepting too many migrants. Now, Greece has had a lot of issues in recent uh, years, and it still has. It's been a bit of a hub for a lot of asylum seekers uh, crossing uh, into that particular country, and it's like a gateway uh, then head on to the rest of Europe. One what did surprise me, again, I suppose it's in relation to Greece, and it's surprising how many uh, asylum seekers are still in uh, this particular respective countries, is Cyprus, 84% of their citizens, again, believe their country is accepting too many migrants. Now, the third one, which is, will be no surprise to anybody, and you suppose uh, seeing a lot of the news on a daily basis, we might have thought this would have been number one, was Ireland. Ireland had 78% of the people who were surveyed believed again that their country is accepting too many migrants. High up there, but I thought that could have been higher. The fourth one, which was a bit of a surprise, was Austria at 77%. Uh, again, Austria, much like a lot of other uh, European countries, is suffering through uh, mass immigration, too many people coming at such a short space. Uh, the politicians have awakened to this in recent times and have tried to curtail the amount of asylum seekers entering the country, but there's still lots and lots of people heading to Austria, Western Europe as a whole. So again, a bit of a surprise that, but that's the fourth one was Austria. It's a little bit further up north is Germany, which is 77% of their people believe, again, too many illegals, asylum seekers, etc. And Germany, obviously... For some people, caused a lot of these problems under Merkel by uh, saying that we can do it, and which they did do it. They did flood the respective country themselves, Germany, with uh, over well over a million uh, migrants within that space uh, of a year or two years, and obviously more and more have been added ever since then. The next country, Bulgaria, at seventy six percent, bit of a surprise to some people. Uh, including myself, I didn't think this would be in the top 10, but they've got a lot of concerns. Obviously, they've been uh, seeing a lot of asylum seekers enter their country, obviously wanting to leave as well and going to other parts of Europe. Uh, there have been several incidents, especially I think it was about two, three years ago, there was a lot of rioting in some various camps where the Bulgarians were holding a lot of these people. And they weren't getting the sort of like preferential treatment as well, so the entitlement that like they do get in the, the West. So a lot of them are heading... Uh, into different places in Western Europe as well. So a bit of a surprise, that one. The next place, the seventh place, is Poland, 75%. Not a big shock, that. But there has been a lot more asylum seekers uh, people coming to Poland. Obviously, a lot of refugees from the Ukraine. Um, we've seen, obviously, the Polish-Belarus uh, border, people trying to cross there. And again, under this new administration in Poland, I do believe they will be accepting more asylum seekers who will be sharing them out. Uh, a country I thought would have been a lot higher up is Italy. That's got 74% of its citizens. Uh, I think in 2023, Italy accepted more asylum seekers than any other country in Europe. Uh, so I was a bit surprised. I thought that, again, along with Ireland, would have been in the top four. Well, top four, Ireland was uh, three, but I thought Italy would have been up there. France, a bit of a shock there. 70% of its people believe... Uh, the country's accepting too many citizens. Uh, it would have thought it would have been a lot more than that, to be honest here, but that's the way it goes. S -s Followed that again with Spain. Uh, we see daily videos, uh, news articles of predominantly North African or, or Sub-Saharan Africans landing in Spain illegally, and obviously the enclave in Morocco, which we see quite often on the news. As many videos are out there circulating on a daily, weekly basis of landings, uh, by speedboats, both in Spain and in Italy, uh, you got to question it. You know the organisation. Obviously, we have a lot of NGO ships in the Mediterranean helping uh, to ferry these people into Spain and into Italy, etc. Uh, so, last one, the tenth one is Sweden with seventy percent. No big shock there. You could, the only surprise, I suppose, could be that you'd thought it could be further up in this particular survey. Don't uh, read too much into those, these particular surveys. It's just out of of interest in maybe this short little video please leave a comment you obviously might think uh, certain countries like again that are reference island 
would have been higher up percentage of the people, the citizens, the people of Ireland, uh, objecting to too many uh, migrants coming to the country. Again, the word migrants does get uh, misrepresented by mainstream media and surveys like this. It uh, can very convoluted. Uh, obviously, when they get mentioning asylum seekers, they always seem to mention refugees and stuff like that. But I do believe, again, migrants, it means asylum seekers. I don't believe it means people coming to Europe to work from outside of Europe. Uh, I, do, I do believe it means uh, asylum seekers. Uh, I've just left uh, a little image of the UK. If, obviously, if I'd like to, to see any, any uh, takers on that, if anybody wants to give a percentage of the people what they think what the UK would be if they were involved in this particular survey. Again, the UK was not in the survey because it's not part of the EU, uh, the European uh, Union as such. Other countries uh, follow like Norway, Switzerland, and several other countries as well, what not including the survey because they're not members of the EU. If you look at the map there, it gives you a breakdown of the percentages of all the countries or people from those respective countries, what was done in this particular survey. And you can actually question, you know, for bloody Belgium, Holland, to some lesser degree, Finland, say, for example, you know, thought they might have been higher up, I don't know. Portugal was a bit of a surprise to me as well. I think it's 57%. So again, again please leave a comment uh, to if you agree, disagree, what the, the actual survey says. Uh, please leave a comment, good and bad, on um, this little video I've made. Apologies to anybody about the, the video I made about Ireland, the actual... Uh, the, the tents in Dublin. Unfortunately, I put a video, a part of a clip up, which was uh, copyrighted. I didn't realise that was the case because the actual video was circulating on Facebook, uh, what do you call it, Twitter, and Telegram, where she got it from. I had no idea because there was no tag on it. So I put three videos together. One was from this Irish mirror, and one was from another, what I got off social media, again, not tagged. And the third one was tagged. But it got copyrighted and I had to take the video down, I had to get a strike. Well, I didn't have to get a strike, I got a strike, unfortunately. So I apologise to anybody. And again, apologise to the gentleman whose video that was, because it was. I did not mean to do that whatsoever. Again, thanks everybody. Take care and God bless.